Hi, my name is Rochelle Harding and I am the Home Garden Program Manager at Valley Verde. And I want to show you a little bit today about planting your seedlings in your garden bed. The first thing you're gonna do is um, plan out where your seedlings will go. So if we look at the bed here, um, we're gonna place our tallest uh, climbers in the back um, so that they don't block the sun. I have the sun coming over the side of my house, so everything that climbs is gonna be going up my trellis. Uh, so those tall ones are gonna be in the back. I've got cucumber, zucchini, uh, another cucumber, uh, let's see, a tomato, and then a lemon cucumber over here. Um, and so you wanna plan according to how tall things grow as well as how much space they need. So in at Valley Verde we use cubic uh, square foot gardening and so each plant needs the proper amount of space. So I'm going to go ahead and show you here how to uh, put your seedling in the ground and plant it. So this right here I have a pineapple uh, tomato plant and stick my label right there. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to dig a large hole. It's going to be about as deep as the container here, so a little bit above. Um, you're going to go a little bit up on the stem um, and that's going to help the tomato plant have some support so it's not tall and spindly but uh, strong and um, roots will, so you can kind of put it in there and test to see. That looks like a good depth for me. Now, these paper pots are actually compostable, and in the past we have tried putting them in the soil, but I've found that they don't decompose fast enough. So what I do is I actually take off the paper pot here, and I'm gonna throw this in my compost pile because that needs a little bit more time to break down um, than, and I want my roots of the plant here to be able to spread out. So when you're pulling it off, be real gentle that you don't um, tear at the roots and make sure you can keep as many intact as possible. So we're going to tear that off and I'm going to save this for my compost. I'm going to go ahead and put my seedling in here and I'm going to fill it in with dirt all around. All right. And I'm just going to gently press, fill in a little bit more dirt um, to make sure that that stem is nice and secure in the garden bed. Okay, and make sure that my soil is nice and even. And I'm going to go ahead and stick the label back in because I have several different varieties this year and I want to remember what is what. So then to finish up, all I'm going to do is give it some water. So Typically, tomato plants don't like uh, water on their leaves, so as the plant grows, you want to be sure to water at the base. Um, or if you are able to install a drip irrigation system, that also really helps to avoid any leaf issues um, with the tomato plant. So that is how um, we transplant a seedling. And you go, go ahead and give it one more drink Make sure the roots get a good drink since they're in a new environment. All right, and that's all. I hope this was helpful. And you can just go ahead and uh, repeat that process for each plant that you've set out in your garden. Um, and then afterwards, if you have um, the space, you can sow some seeds um, in between. If it's something like carrots, uh, that's a direct uh, uh, sow into the soil. So I hope that was helpful and thanks for watching.